Hey everyone, it's Clint with Clint's Classic World. Wanted to talk to you here again about this Challenger. We're still working on this 71 Challenger. I'm gonna try to take out the rear seats on this vehicle. Um, starting with the uh, back seat, gonna drop that out. Get some, probably go after that. Uh, try to get the uh, uh, rear interior quarter panels out. So uh, just trying to slowly take this thing apart in the interior. You need to also get the, the front seats out as well, but just one step at a time. So let's move on to that. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. I'll be continuing to give you updates on this 71 Challenger 446 pack on the uh, dismantling. And uh, then also as it goes back together or uh, getting painted and so on and so forth. So subscribe and let's get on this thing and uh, take off, uh, get these seats out and, and move on with, with tearing this thing apart. So we're, here we are looking at these seats. I'm gonna try to lift up. Sometimes people don't, when they put these in, they don't actually screw them down. You can see it was already kind of loose in here. Lift up, look at that. It's already coming out of place here. So let's go to the other side. Go, let's get in here. Let's get inside, lift it up. Oh, there we go, pop loose. Ugh. There you go, look at that. So if you notice here, see right there, those seats, I just pulled those seats out so easily and they should have actually been bolted in slightly right there and they weren't. So they just, they've just come out easily. Somebody pretty much just laid them in place. But yes, you can definitely see green all over this car. So, yep. Anyways, let's continue. Try to get this bottom seat out. Oh, there we go. Boom, pops right up. Look, see how easy that was? Shoot. It's easy popping this thing out. Pretty loose, so. But, you know, you just have to just push back and then pull forward because there's these little hooks right there, as you can see, that it goes in. You can see right there, you can see all the sassy grass green on that. And, well, we got this quarter panel off here, this interior quarter panel. Look what I find. That right there, folks, is cool. It looks like that really hasn't been touched. That looks like original to me. Cool, and it's normally like this with a thin sheet of paper like this behind there. I like that, that's pretty cool. Well, so we've got this, pulled this quarter panel, interior quarter panel off. Looks pretty solid. This car looks solid. So, now we can pull this off. Looks like it's missing the jute, so. Behind this, that's what I should call it. Yeah. It's okay, I got an extra one. <laughs> so, cool. There's your trunk. Trunk looks pretty good. Pretty solid overall. It looks pretty solid. It's nice when you start taking things apart and it comes across and it looks solid. That's what you want to see. Look at that inspection mark. Look here at the floors. Again, looking good. The 71 Challenger 446 pack, looking good. Okay, well, gotta get these speakers out right here. It's gonna be tough. You can see there's one right here, one over here. So, need a, this is the smallest flathead I have. I need more of a stubby one, a little bit wider tip but there's a speaker here somebody put this bad setup in here so when I unscrew it the speaker's gonna fall so I'm trying to get ready for it to fall it's coming loose
We got one out. It's a junky speaker too, let me tell you. Okay, so now we're working on this 71 Challenger and I uh, need to get these uh, front seats loose here. So I'm gonna try to take those uh, bolts off here to loosen up the front seats so we can pull them right out. Should be a half inch socket that fits on there. I'm gonna probably need an extension to get up in some of these other ones here. So we can get on there and get, get each of these loose. You should, you should have one here, one there, one here, one here. Of course, over here, same thing. You have four on, the, uh, on both sides. And if you happen to have a six-way seat or something, you'll have you'll notice an extra support bracket underneath there as well. So let's get going and taking getting loosening these seats up. in the way on this one. Uh, no fun. I'm gonna have to probably use a ratchet on that one because the exhaust is in the way. Yep. So if you see right here this bolt here it has little teeth kind of on the outside of this bolt. That is what you should see. That one on the I first took off that's not right. It's flat. It should have a uh, more of a grip on on these uh, on the washer. Yep, it's another grip there. So get those off. Once you get those off, these seats should pretty much just pull right out. Should be pretty straightforward. So, all right. Well, let's keep working on it. <laughs> 